So welcome back to my channel. I'm Justin, and right now we're going through this whole series of ta paying tax in America versus paying tax in Germany, and what can you expect? This video is all about the benefits. In the first video, I talked about all the things that you have, all those deductions, those extras that you pay for, that are already included here in Germany. But there's a lot more things that are also included, and it's all about how you use the system. So in America, I always had health insurance. My mom made sure that I was one of the few people that always had health insurance from birth until I left Germany. I'm um, sorry, I left America. Um, but I always had health insurance. But there's some things that when you have health insurance, when you find out they're not included in your policy. And for example, uh, in Germany, I had my wisdom teeth pulled out. I think I had four of them pulled out. And uh, I didn't have to pay one extra cent. That was part of one of my insurance benefits here in Germany. In America, I believe wisdom teeth are considered cosmetic surgery, even if they are leading to you being sick a lot. Um, and your insurance would not cover it all. I think I would have to pay $1,500 per tooth. That's a lot of money. Um... The next thing that is also very big, which deserves a whole video for itself, is when you decide to have a baby. In Germany, I pay zero dollars out of pocket when my two children were born in Germany. It was already part of my insurance. It was already covered with all of my taxes that I'm already paying. And But in America, man, to have a baby in America, and it's supposed to be a very beautiful day until you get home and you realize how much money it's going to cost you um, and then there's a whole bill too. And you say, well, I had insurance. No, there's still stuff that is not covered. Um, and so you hit up. And a lot of people are constantly paying those bills back. Right? I never had to think about that. And so there's some things in the German system that are automatically covered that I, it would have blown my mind. So Germany does do better. It's better than Germany. And this is something you're going to hear about is that the wait time in Germany is a lot longer. That's true, but not in every situation. So if you need to go to a general doctor or you have an emergency, the wait time in Germany is, is the same as in America. You get, well, if you need an appointment, I get an appointment the same day if I have a cold and I need to go to my general doctor. I can probably get it within an hour. Now, but if you need to go to a specialist, if you need to go to a specialist in America, you can probably go to the specialist that same day or even the, maybe have to wait a week, but you will get an appointment to the specialist. In Germany, it could take a month to get an appointment at the specialist. Now, the difference here is the, is the system in Germany. In the system in Germany, if you are in a situation where you cannot work, hey, you're covered. You have six weeks uh, of disability where you can stay home if need so. In America, because we are so afraid to miss work, because missing work equates to missing money, that we need to get in that system faster. So I think that's part of the reason. So you, you can go to the specialist a lot sooner in Germany, I'm sorry, in America, than you can in Germany. So that's really the big difference. But as far as just generally going to the doctor, it's about the same. In America, and I think this is normally the biggest problem, is that... As a middle class citizen, which the majority of people fit into that range. Now, what is the middle class? Anyone that's above the poverty line and anyone that falls below that threshold of being considered the 1% of the, the, the upper class, which I think is over $250,000 for an individual. So there's a wide range. That could be from like, I think the minimum... Below the poverty rate is like 20,000, and there's anything from, from 20,000 to 250,000. That covers the majority of people in America. I have always been around, I think, $50,000 as a teacher, <laughs> and so that's where I am. But anyway, as a citizen of America versus a citizen of Germany, I did not ever feel like I saw any benefits of the system as a middle class citizen in America. In the, in the in you always hear the the Congress talking about uh, tax cuts, tax cuts, tax cuts, tax cuts, and it's like the only people that ever see tax cuts were the rich. So the rich would get their taxes cut by a certain percentage. As a middle class citizen, I never saw that. I never felt that. It never seemed like my check ever 
increased. It always seemed like it stayed the same thing. Sometimes I felt like after the IRS gave the, the richer tax cuts, it seemed like I had to pay a little bit more the next year. And then on the other side, they all talk about expanding the benefits. Well, once again, as a middle class citizen in America, I feel like I never was a part of that. It seemed like I was always disqualified for some reason. So I never got those benefits. The people, the poor people, which understandably received those benefits. And they received even more. So as a middle class citizen, when did I ever feel like I received any benefits? I remember going to school and they had a free lunch or reduced lunch program for children. And I remember there were so many kids that were getting free lunch. And I went to that free lunch too. Man, we were, as a single parent home, we were barely making it. Um, and I think we are qualified for reduced lunch one year, but we never qualified for free lunch. Now, the crazy thing is, is that a lot of people that did qualify for free lunch, their parents made more money than my mom did. I, I can think about, I think there's 15 kids off the top of my head I can think of that made more money than my parents, but how did they trick the system? If I'm not mistaken, the fathers who made the most money in these households, they were filed separately. Or they maybe the parents were never married, but anyway, the men will file their taxes one way, and then the women will file their taxes. But some of them had part time jobs, some of them were stay at home moms, and they would file their taxes another way, file them separately. They would put the kids on the the lower income uh, parent, and then thus they were able to receive benefits. Sometimes people argue, and that's a whole another video of how the government has devised a way to break down families by rewarding a single lower income mom benefits where if you're a married couple, they take those benefits away. That's a whole nother video and a whole nother can of worms, but that's just one example that I'm giving. Whereas me, I did not see any benefits. Matter of fact, I can tell you a situation of someone, an associate of mine who lost their job before the pandemic. And they were making, no, let's say around $100,000. They lost their job before the pandemic and they had to receive unemployment. Their unemployment was, I think, peanuts to the dollars compared to what they're making. They could barely make it. So they had a mortgage, they had this, and with unemployment alone, they were not able to survive. <coughs> yeah, so with unemployment alone, they were not able to survive. Um, so, before I go further into that story, let's talk about how it is in Germany. So I already listed all the things that are included, health insurance, eye insurance, dental insurance. But what are some other things? For example, I want children are born, I don't have to pay anything. Matter of fact, I even get parental leave. My wife took one year off and she was able to receive 100% of her salary. Now you can change up a little bit. You can make it, I think is two years of 50% of your salary or a year and a half or 75% for one parent and then the other parent, traditionally the father will get two months of pay leave around 67%. Now, if I'm unemployed, I believe I receive 80% of my salary if I'm unemployed. Whereas, like I told the example in the previous story by my associate, they received peanuts to the dollar. Let's say they maybe only made 20,000. So from going from 100,000 to 20,000, you can't make it off that. You are now in poverty. Um, What's also crazy is that the person I knew when the pandemic happened, me, when the pandemic happened, I was laid off. I was on furlough, as they call it in America, but I still received 67% of my salary. And there are some companies that top you off. They, the government set up a way that they could top you off, they could still receive taxes, which that means that the government pays 67%, but your former business or your business that's had you on furlough could pay you the rest of it and not be financially hit too hard. Whereas in America, the people in pandemic, they were furloughed and they received some benefits, but the associate I was talking about, he didn't have a chance because before the pandemic, he was making too much money to benefit from that. And once again, as a middle-class citizen, you start to see people on the top getting benefits, you see the people below getting benefits and you never see them as middle-class. In, in Germany, I am receiving those benefits. Everybody receives those benefits. No matter where you are on the social ladder, everyone 
receive the benefits. There's no exclusions like in America. So, for example, child care. Child care is so expensive in, in, in America. In Germany, child care is subsidized. I think for us, we don't have to pay for child care for one child. If there's two children in child care, we don't have to pay for one. And it's still at a reduced rate depending on our salary. And in some cities, child care is free. So my child got to go to kindergarten from first from year one to year six, no problem. In America, I've been told that for some people, if you have a part-time job, child care is the value of that part-time job. It's very expensive, but that's something that is included in mine. Now, I want to all of my American people to look around because I'm not bashing America. I love America. I still feel like it's the greatest country in the world. However, when you look around, are your streets built very well? Probably not. Are your hospitals looking good? Are the schools taken care of? Is the police force, the fire department, are they taken care of? Can you point out where you, where your tax dollars are going? In Germany, I can. I see it. I'm living it. In America, I never really could. I knew I was paying taxes, and I knew they were going to help people out. But as a citizen of paying taxes, I always wondered, was I ever going to experience it at my age, or did I have to wait till I got older and receive Social Security, and then would the benefits kick in? But in Germany, I get to live it every day. And that's one thing I want to point out, is that that's really one of the big differences. I pay taxes in Germany. And I have found a way to use that tax money to help me in my life. In America, maybe I just wasn't smart enough. Maybe I wasn't taught how. But for some reason, I feel like I only gave money out, but I never received the benefits back. And with that, that's the part four of this video is actually benefiting from what you're paying into the system. All right, I'll be the same. Juice.